Hello everyone. Uh, thank you again for joining us here on Facebook. I am Drew Winchester with Sarasota County's Communications Department and as part of our ongoing centennial celebration today we're down here in Venice to talk about the unique history of this beautiful city and joining me is Harry Klinkhammer who serves as the Historical Resources Manager for the City of Venice but he likes to think of himself as the history czar. So, <laughs> Harry, I really appreciate you joining us. Well, Drew, thanks for coming down here. So, I'm going to tee up a really easy question for you. When you're talking about the history of Venice, what's the starting point for that? Uh, the starting point, um, I would say the main starting point, is going to be the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers and yeah. John Nolan. Now, there's definitely some earlier history, the earlier settlements, you know, that happened beforehand. Mm -hmm. But it's really, it's the land boom and the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers coming down here, mm -hmm. seeing this as an investment opportunity during the land boom. Now, what year is this? So we're talking about 1926. Okay. Um, so they acquired this land from Dr. Fred Alby, mm -hmm. who in turn had acquired it from Bertha Honoré Palmer. Mm -hmm. So he basically flipped it um, and to <laughs> the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers. And then they hired John Nolan, a, a, a nationally renowned city planner, mm -hmm. to design uh, this city. Now, I've heard that before. The Nolan plan is essentially what it's referred to. That's correct. Okay. So um, the more in, internal uh, parts, historical parts of the city mm -hmm. were all part of the des design that John Nolan had to create this city out of scratch. Oh, that's fascinating. So you have that starting point. Mm -hmm. You have that plan. Where does it then go to the next level, or what's the next signpost for history here in Venice? So the, the next signpost um, actually is, is a little disappointing one because um, after the land boom, you get the land bust. <laughs> of um, and of course, then the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. And uh, so within a matter of years, uh, Venice goes from a population of about several thousand mm -hmm. to a population of about several hundred. Wow. Um, and you see a lot of homes are just left incomplete or abandoned. Mm -hmm. um, and you do see people squatting in places. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really starting to look bleak. In fact, uh, looking back at the old city council minutes, every month they're like, okay, now we're going to turn the lights, the street lights off at 8 o'clock. <laughs> okay, and now it's going to be 7 o'clock because right. they can't pay the bills. Right. Um, but fortunately, uh, one of several great opportunities for this city's revival happens soon after that. Oh, that's great. Yes. Um, and that would be uh, the Kentucky Military Institute mm. uh, that comes here in 1930, 1931. Okay. Uh, so as the name implies, they're a military school for boys mm -hmm. uh, based out of Kentucky, uh, but they always had this you know, important ideology that, you know, the students should be getting out to nature, getting out fresh air, exercise. Uh, is an important part of their motto, which is character makes the man. So did that draw families back down to Venice? Absolutely. Okay. So when they elected to move their winter campus down here, mm -hmm. uh, that meant that the students came down, the faculty came down, you know, whatever other support staff they needed. And of course, then all those families would be coming down here mm. to visit their kids while they're down here. I mean, they were kind of the original snowbirds. Mm. They, they came down here right after Christmas and then left right around Easter. The original snowbirds. I, I bet some of those folks would be very proud of that title. So you have the boom, you have the bust, then you have the revival with the Kentucky Military Institute. Mm. Um, I don't want to jump too far ahead too quickly, yeah. but when do we start to see the Venice that we know today? So the Venice that we know today uh, really starts to take off after World War II. Okay. So during uh, the Second World War, uh, the Army does establish an air base here, um, and that brought in about 5,000 personnel, mm -hmm. uh, that not including whatever civilian support staff were needed for that. And as is the case throughout Florida, a lot of these uh, soldiers you know, loved the place, and after the war, they came back. And not even just them. Um, a lot of actually, um, our camp here had German POWs. And they came back. Wow, they liked that's it so much. So yeah, you get, after the war, you get a huge boom. Um, you see huge growth in the city with a lot of small homes for uh, Army veterans mm. coming back down here. And this is where we really see Venice taken off. Now, I know it's a lot left, a lot more detail okay. that I think folks would like to yeah. know, but 
Tell us a little bit where we're standing now. This is the Venice History Museum? That's correct. Okay. We're in the Venice History Museum right now. Um, we're part of the Venice Division of Historical Resources uh, with the City of Venice. And in this building, uh, we try to tell a lot of the different stories about our community, whether it's some of the larger picture stories in our main gallery on topics we covered, including things like the circus, mm -hmm. to you know where the known as the shark's tooth capital of the world. But right. we have plenty of other fossils as well, and we do have an impressive <laughs> fossil collection here at the museum on display. Um, and then further exhibits on the history of this building mm -hmm. and uh, a variety of different seasonal changing exhibits to kind of keep things fresh, especially when the snowbirds come down of course. Uh, each year so they've got something new to see. So we'll get into a little bit of the history of this facility uh, in our next segment. But as far as um, places that people can go to learn more information, uh, learn about the exhibits in here, learn about this facility, where would they go? So uh, you can go to our website, which is venicemuseum.org. You can learn more about the exhibits and our calendar of events that we have going on. Um, and I would strongly suggest you subscribe to our Facebook page as we provide a lot of information about events and activities and goings on here um, at the museum. Gotcha. And then just one last question. As the histories are, when you're thinking about um, the very intricate and interesting history of this city, what is the one thing that you think defines this community as far as its history goes? I would have to say that it would be the Nolan Plan and how its design uh, created this walkable city mm. that is still the case today. Gotcha. All right. Well, hey, thank you for being here. Thanks for sharing all that information. Really appreciate it. You heard Harry's uh, contact information as far as where to go for more information. And if you want to learn more about Sarasota County's centennial celebration, then just give uh, our uh, contact center a call. That's 941-861-5000, or you can visit scgov.net. And there's a lot of interesting, interesting information there uh, to, to discover. So thank you as always for joining us, and we'll see you next time.